Since I started working with Dynamics 365 or Dynamics CRM back in 2006, I've literally added tens of thousands of fields. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably have added a bunch of fields too. But have you noticed when you add a field at the bottom of the screen, there's something called IME mode? What does that even do? Do you know what it does? Well, I decided to come here to Amsterdam at Extreme 365 to find out. So Matt, you've added fields to Dynamics before, right? Yes. What's IME mode? <laughs> uh, I knew that like back in the 4.0 days. It's like something to do with uh, uh, supporting different characters or something, isn't it? Like for different languages. What is IME mode? Oh, that, it's something that shows up that I have no idea what it does. <laughs> What's IME mode? I don't know. <laughs> What's IME mode? IME mode, is this, is that the one where, no, that's not the ones at the end, is it? It's not the ones at the end of the, um... Mark. Yo, what's up? You've added fields to Dynamics before, right? Yeah. What's IME mode? IME? You know, I know this. I know this. No, I've, I, I definitely, I can see it, but I have no idea. What's IME mode? Uh, it's like that special thing used for special Chinese Japanese characters or something. <clears throat> right? Close. Close. Gustav, you've added a bunch of fields in Dynamics, yeah. right? Yeah. What's IME mode? IME mode. Uh, that's a mode for uh, I think it's for like Asian uh, languages uh, where you. Um, um, yeah, it's like you can switch on for. Uh, being able to, uh, s I remember exactly what it is, but it's for it's, it's a specific setting for for Asian languages. Uh, I, I think it's for like being able to to go into um, uh, for the way they set up their keyboards. I think so. IME stands for Input Method Editor, and we use this to control the entry of Asian characters by users into Dynamics 365 text fields. The idea behind it is that obviously if you're collecting information on the native language, like the name of the company or the name of the person, we do want to allow Asian characters to be entered. That way we have the native language pronunciation of that particular name or that particular information. But obviously, if you don't want to enter that, for example, if it's a phone number and you want it to be visible to users that you have in Asia and also in the US or the UK, whatever it is, you just want to regular numbers entered into that particular field, then you can actually disable it. There are several properties that we can use there. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to um, exit out of this one. If I go into the solution and I open the main phone field within the account entity and the same applies to contact and lead and all the other ones, you notice that IME mode is inactive and there's four options in there, auto, inactive, active or disable that we can use to control whether users can enter Chinese, Korean or Japanese characters on that particular field. So in this case, for main phone within the account entity, we're not going to allow, we're going to deactivate Asian characters uh, from being entered into this particular field. Now, the interesting part about this is that I found an article at mozilla.org that talks about IME mode, and they talk about the fact that this feature is no longer recommended or actually supported, has been removed from relevant web standards, as you can see, uh, it's being dropped. Now, the interesting part about this article is not the fact that this property is obsolete, but the fact that they included a table, a compatibility table for browser, which I think is pretty cool. So this IME mode browser compa compatibility table tells us that Chrome doesn't support IME mode. So I wonder if it actually doesn't work. I haven't tried it myself. I haven't tested it, but um, I did a project back in CRM 2011 before Dynamics CRM back then had cross browser compatibility. And we had a customer that used to buy machines from Japan and they used to bring them into the US and sell them and install them and service them in the US. And we did enable IME mode for some of the fields on that particular project. We wanted to make sure that the names of the devices and the machines themselves were, were not uh, captured in Japanese characters. So because of that, we actually enable it and it worked, but I have no idea if it works in Chrome. I mean, based on this table, I would say it doesn't. 
Edge is interesting. It says, well, we don't know. Question mark. Uh, Firefox, it's supported after version 3. IE supported for version 5 and 8, which I think is interesting because Dynamics doesn't even support those anymore. Uh, Opera, nope. Safari, nope. And then when we go into the mobile devices, Edge is supported there. So seems like it works on Edge in mobile, but we have no idea if it works in the desktop. And well, pretty much we either don't know or it just doesn't work on the other browsers. So I think it's safe to say that IME mode it's kind of sketchy. I mean, if you if you read about it, uh, you notice that this was introduced in IE5. So there it is. This was introduced by Microsoft. The CSS control was introduced by Microsoft in Internet Explorer 5. So this thing has been out there in Dynamics CRM and Dynamics 365 for a long, long time. But it's, it's not something that we use all the time. And as a matter of fact, it might even not even work anymore. So it will be interesting to test it out and see what it is. So good job to Jonas and Google stuff for actually knowing what this is exactly because this is some old school functionality from Dynamics 365. I hope we continue to do this to ambush professionals, MVPs with kind of obscure features of Dynamics to see if they know what they are and in the process learn what those features do. I hope you enjoy this first episode and we'll see you on the next one.